Hey folks, how is going? Welcome to the brewery. Uh, tasting day on the East Coast Haze Clone Brew, uh, which I did back in March. Uh, this fellow's been in, on the keg now for about about five, six weeks. Uh, so it's had a good age. It, it took a little bit longer to get to it than I had planned. But anyway, <laughs> there we are. Uh, so this is the beer I brewed here on uh, my left, your right. And this is the real deal from Black Ops, the East Coast Haze. There's links up there to, um, to Brew Day. This is the recipe from Hoppy Days, their coastal, BH Coastal Haze, I think it's listed as, Coastal Reserve, Reserve Coastal, something like that. But it's on the Hoppy Days uh, website. Got a nice fruity nose. Okay, and it's fairly similar. There's more passion fruit on that. And it just seems a little more intense. Now, several days after this recipe dropped, no, sorry, after I did the brew, Black Hops dropped their recipe onto the Grain Father website. Um, I've just gone in to try and find it. I can't find it. Can't find any Black Ops beers on there at all. Um, so I can't look at it. And I wanted to look at it because I did compare the two. Um, and even though the recipe here does have the same hops in it, uh, they're used in a different. They're used in a slightly different way and in different quantities at different times, uh, which is obviously going to have an effect on how that turns out. But anyway, that aside, uh, malted oats and Wheat used in this recipe, I, looking at that, would imagine that maybe flaked wheat and flaked oats would have been a better option uh, for getting some haze. To use Verdon IPA, so yeah, good use for getting getting some haze. There was no early dry hop. Dry hop on day four and day six, so there's nothing early in the ferment which may help with that um, haziness as well. So anyway, let's um. Let's get into it. Let's let's start off here with the real deal. This is what supposedly we're trying to achieve. 4.5% ABV. The fruity beer got a bit of that um, pash. Uh, Pasito, uh, not Pasito, um, the Orchi orange passion fruit um, sort of a vibe. Uh, <laughs> young, younger people aren't going to get that because they've probably never tried it. Um, people more to my generation, yeah, people, yeah, they older folks, probably even anyone over 40, is going to know what I'm talking about. It's a sour, citrusy edge on that as well. Okay. So this fella, starting gravity was uh, 10.41. Sorry, 10.40. 10.43. Um, I was looking for a 10.44, got 10.43, finished it. 10.11. So we finished at 4.2% ABV. Uh, the recipe was 4.3%. So it's just a fraction short of the real deal. So the nose is similar. It's just not quite as passion fruity. similar that's not that far off um, I've had a couple of tastes of this leading up and I was thinking it was a little bit too sour um, but I haven't had these these case for a while um, and the sourness that edge is sort of is reasonably close 
but there is just a little bit a little bit lacking on that passion fruity tropical sort of side actually the sourness has settled and it's becoming a bit more compacted into the brew sitting more in the same realm as that Yeah. And so there's more, there's more depth in there. Uh, they're fairly, it's like it's, the, the taste is quite similar. There's just a bit more depth there, and again, I think I said that's from the change. Now, like I said I can't pull that recipe up now. <coughs> But the recipe here has 20 IBUs of Idaho um, in a hop stand for 20 minutes. Now I'm pretty sure by memory this fella pulled a black more of the IBU in the actual boil, late in the boil, uh, and then ran A lighter hop stand and uh, and a slightly heavier dry hop. Um, I think yeah. I can't I can't say for sure, but um, yeah. If if someone can actually has the black hops, one that dropped. I know I linked it to one or two people uh, and I discussed it when it came down. Um, so I might be able to. I'm hoping I can track it down. I'm hoping someone I know has actually got it. Um, so I would like to make that comparison. Um, I will check tonight before I drop the video um, and if I can find it I will put the revised recipe, the Black Ops recipe, down the bottom um, and I'll just have to put in the, put in the comments or in the, you know, in the blurb down there uh, about where that difference was. But, but as it stands, this brew, uh, as far as this goes, is not too far off. As it is, is it a clone? No, it's not. But it's certainly, it's certainly in the realms. Uh, and if this is the kind of beer that you want to, you, you want to, you want to create, I said, I think, yeah, changing up to the flaked oats and the wheat to get a little bit more creamy feel into the body, uh, and maybe maintain a little bit more of that haze. Yeah, as for the hops, I really don't know where to go with that. Amarillo Mosaic in Eclipse in the dry hop on this clone. Uh, none of which particularly scream passion fruit and the passion fruit note is dropping as that's you know settled a little bit and I'm getting into it a bit further but as it is that's the quite that's not a bad drop it's a little too sour for my, for my preferences uh, there's a lot of beers getting about to sit into this, into this style, uh, and that little sour note is not completely um, out of place. It, it seems to be something that goes across a lot of them. Uh, it's a little bit more uh, uh, noticeable in this than some of the others in that sort of range. Um, I said for me it doesn't quite really tick the box. Uh, plenty of people it does and that's fine. 
But if you're looking for that that sort of a vibe, that recipe is pretty good. No one, no one, going off how close that is and what we're looking at there. If you can get your hands on that black 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 hop recipe, I think that's going to really just pull together that little bit that's not quite not quite working there. Um, so not that it's working, but just stops it from being, you know, right on the mark. But I'll, go, I'll give it a thumbs up. Uh, it's it's close enough, uh, and certainly a beer you can tweak yourself to get that hop where you yeah a bit closer to where you wanted exactly. I said, I think. Just those changes of the oats and the wheat on its own, I think, is going to make a little bit um, a positive uh, change and make it you know, improve it a little bit even more. Um, but anyway, that's her. Guys, um, comments and questions down the bottom. Patrons, thank you very much for your support. Yeah, allowed me to do things like this. Uh, there's a link down the bottom to Patreon if you're interested. If you subscribe to the channel, thank you. If you're not, hit the subscribe button down the bottom there. And if you like what's going on, Little John's, give me a thumbs up. Uh, but for now, uh, big thank you, big shout out to Hoppy Days, uh, the boys up there. They've got plenty of uh, clone recipes on the website. I'll be doing some more in the future, no doubt about that. Uh, and they're doing they're doing good things with the clone recipes. So worth, worth checking out. But for now, that's me, Little John. So until I see you again, when we brew and beer, drink and beer, we're talking beer, good brewing. <laughs>